Hello everyone. Welcome to Sydney Talks. Through experiences that I've had in various leadership positions that I've held, I have pretty much changed my leadership philosophy. In the very beginning um, of me discovering that I was a leader, well everyone is a leader, but when I discovered that I was a leader, probably my freshman year in high school, I was a cheerleader and I always wanted to be in the front and I thought that's what leadership was about. Being seen and making sure that you're doing everything right and being viewed as a strong individual who pretty much doesn't mess up and that was very flawed and I discovered that um, through maturing, through cheerleading and through other organizations that I was in. Um, when I was a cheerleader, when I was younger, um, I would always want to be put in the front and I would make formations with me in the front. And then if I wasn't in the front, I would wonder why I wasn't in the front and think to myself, I should be in the front. But that's not really what leadership is about, always being seen. And I went to a Christian Leadership Institute, which is basically a leadership camp that's held here at Baylor, and I learned um, valuable lessons that contribute to my leadership philosophy. Basically, we talked about um, leaders being able to lead from behind and beside. When I was younger, I used to think leaders were always in front, but that's not true. Leaders can lead from behind. They can push people on their team to do the best of their abilities. And they can lead from the side by showing people um, how to do certain tasks. And through that, um, I just learned that I don't always have to be seen. I don't always need to be in the front. And I don't always have to make everything about me. So I'm glad that I learned that through um, my experiences. Um, also, I learned from college I've learned the importance of inclusion. If everyone has a job, it's easier for the team to reach the goal. And I feel like everyone should always be included. And that it's very important that a person feels valued on a team because if they don't feel valued, then they're gonna think to themselves, well, why am I here? No one cares about me, no one cares about my opinion. And that's not true. Through LEAD, I have learned the importance of coinciding my leadership um, philosophy with Jesus Christ. I feel like Jesus Christ did lead from the side and from behind. He didn't put himself in front, and he was just a regular human being, even though he was, like, the savior of the world. He wasn't like, I'm the savior of the world. Everyone bow down to me. He was very humble, and that's how we should all be as leaders. This will help me in the future because... Um, I want to be in the medical field for sure, and I feel like I'm always going to constantly have to work with other people, and if I'm not selfish and I value everyone's opinion and respect everyone, even if they have different opinions, that's another thing I've learned in college that I would apply to my um, leadership philosophy, is pretty much respecting everyone's values. Respect is a huge thing for me. Because even though we are at a Christian university, there are many people who have different views that aren't the same as my views and that aren't the same, even if they are different from my views. This is going to help me tremendously in the future. And I can't wait to keep revising and editing my own leadership philosophy through more experiences that I will experience through this major and through um, situations that I just experienced in college. Thank you.